Hey guys, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be filming another collective haul. I just uploaded my Amazon classroom wishlist haul, so I will link that down below if you haven't watched that already. So today I'm starting my little series of collective hauls where I show you all of the things I've been collecting for my classroom since my freshman year of college. So right here is one of my tote bins that I organize with specifically just math stuff. Um, and some of these things could probably interchange into other categories too, but this is kind of what I designated as my math bin. It's not too, too full, so this is one of the underwhelming tote bins, and that's why I chose it first to start this series. We have some pretty fun stuff in here, and I'm excited to show you guys if I remember where I got it from and then what I plan on doing with it. So I have a ton of these snowballs, and you're probably like, girl, what is wrong with you? So these are from the... Target dollar spot, but they're five dollars, um, and I wait until after Christmas clearance or holiday clearance, um, and they go down to like 90% off. I never really bought any of these full price, but the reason why I bought these is because you can just do so many fun things with them. Um, I've seen a lot on Instagram, and that's where a lot of my inspiration comes to buy certain things. Like I would have never have thought to buy snowballs. Like why? But I see a bunch of great ideas on the teaching Instagram community, so definitely follow me on that, which is at Haley Teaches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and not gonna lie, I think there's a few more packages in a different bin. Just to give you an example of like what I may do with these, there's a game that Miss Smith. I can't remember her exact Instagram name, but it's like Miss Smith's Adventures or something. She's a fifth grade teacher as well. And she does a game for like math review or any type of review really. So you have like different baskets. Each group gets snowballs in this case. And when they get an answer right, they can throw one of their snowballs into one of the baskets around the room. And at the end, they get to see how many points they get because at the bottom of each basket is a point value. So, for example, one basket could have the point value of 5 or 10 points. I have to get a little creative, though, because since these snowballs are all the same color, it might be hard to differentiate which team is which. But whatever, I'll figure it out. Also, for younger grades, these are great for, like, counting and doing fun activities with addition and subtraction. Um, but obviously, I'm in fifth grade, which is a little bit older, so I'll have to be a little bit more creative with these, but I will definitely be using them this year. The next thing was actually featured in my Amazon Classroom Wishlist haul, but these are Hand to Mind brand tiles, which have fractions on one side and decimals on the other side. This is perfect for fifth grade because that is a big math standard. The next thing is from the Target Dollar Spot, and it's just a fraction math helper, which is just a poster that has has fractions on it so this is what the full poster looks like so again you know fractions fifth grade and I didn't even know which grade I was teaching when I bought this but I stocked up on a bunch of stuff as I'm sure you guys will see throughout this series now these manipulatives I actually had to buy for a class which worked out well because I could just keep them now for my classroom um, it came with a kit with like the textbook and then a bunch of these manipulatives so I have some base 10 stuff I have like markers um, shapes have these foam pattern blocks just a bunch of great math stuff so that will come in handy from the Target Dollar Spot, a lot of stuff is from the Target Dollar Spot, I got these Snap Cubes, which is from the brand Learning Resources, and I am trying to hold off on things like this because I think I may be able to purchase them from my district, like they'll pay for it, or they might already have these, I don't even know. I'm thinking they'll have some manipulatives for us, hopefully, but it doesn't hurt to have extra, and if I am provided them, I can make this into like a soft start bin or something like that, because that's something I'm also thinking about, is doing like soft starts on Fridays, um, and then they could also use it during like quiet time and stuff. Then from the Dollar Tree, I have these two like foam dice, and they're dry erase on each side, so I thought fun stuff could be done with that, and it doesn't have to be math, but I just put it in the math bin. Also from the Target Dollar Spot, I just have a little bit of like off-brand Legos. Um, I do need to up my collection a bit more. But again, I was kind of thinking more for soft start or quiet time, like stem bins. From the Dollar Tree, I got these big dice. Um, this I actually got for the block, um, which is the semester before student teaching at Bridgewater. And I use these to play a vocab game with my fourth graders when I did um, writing buddies. 
From Target, I got this little Jenga kit. Again, so many fun ideas for Jenga on Instagram, whether it's review or getting to know you game. So there's so many things you can do with this. This was also in the Target dollar spot, and I have to say, Target is upping their game, especially lately, with like educational resources. So this was from Learning Resources. It's Pop for Numbers. It has the instructions on the back, but I'm not quite sure how to play this. Um, but I thought, again, it was just a fun math game. You can't have too many math games. Then from Facebook, I got these free magnet tiles. And that's another thing. I mentioned this in my student teacher quarantine vlog, um, which I will card up here. Um, just different ways to get free stuff for your classroom. And Facebook is a huge one, whether it's on Marketplace or especially the buy nothing group pages so if you type in buy nothing and then your town on Facebook you can find a group hopefully that's local to you and you can join it and people post things that they're getting rid of for free um, so I picked up these free magnet tiles it's not a bunch but it's a start because these things are super expensive also from the Target dollar spot I have these two packs of dry erase blocks the possibilities are endless this set is just plain, and then this set kind of has like a colorful outline to it, but basically the same thing. Um, these are originally $3, but I got them on clearance probably for $0.90, cents, honestly. Then I just have some multiplication cards. These are good just to build fluency. Like if we have to line up to go to lunch or recess, I can ask them one of these in order for them to line up or something like that. I'm pretty sure this was from my own childhood collection because I don't remember buying this or maybe I got it from that time I went to a school that was closing and gave everything away for free I think that might be it because this is what this is from so all of these Dollar Tree like 3d geometric shapes are from a school that was closing like a little private school and they were giving away everything left over for free which is amazing so I have a ton of books from them I have this and I have a few more things from them this could be a really cool project it doesn't even have to be related to math there's a bunch of fun different shapes and I grabbed as many as I could but I still will probably have to end up grabbing more from the Dollar Tree if they ever get these back in stock I was surprised to hear from my principal that my class size is most likely gonna be around 23 which I thought was pretty small um, a lot of the classes I've worked in have been like 28 so I'm looking forward to a class size of 23 I think that's super great and I'm sure more kids will join too throughout the school year but 23 is a good starting point I did keep two of my math textbooks um, and I don't keep textbooks often I like to just get rid of them or sell them but for math I wanted to hold on to these because I'm not super confident with math myself so teaching math is kind of a little daunting and since I am teaching all subjects at the time being, I'm supposed to be teaching all subjects, I really need to get on my math grind. Um, so I'm happy I kept these because they will be good to reference. Um, and obviously I'll have a curriculum from my school that will be helpful. Target dollar spot again, I got these three sets of 72 of these little building blocks. This is just, you know, for STEM bins, quiet time, or whatever else I can think of. Um, they are Christmas colors, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to find more of these in just random assorted colors so they can all just be mixed together. But these are only originally a dollar, which is a really good starting price. And then I would get them for like 30 cents if they were 70% off. Also from the Target dollar spot, these are just magnetic numbers and some operation symbols. Not really sure what I'm going to do with this, but it's always nice to have magnetic numbers. Like I said, when I was collecting all this stuff, I didn't know what grade I would be teaching, so I was kind of just going for 1 through 5. This would definitely be cute for younger grades, but I'm sure it'll work with my 5th graders too. And then I just have this, um, it's a, technically a countdown calendar. Um, it could be a hundreds chart, whatever you want to do with it. So that's what it looks like. It's like supposed to be a countdown calendar, but you can do so much with it. And it has these clear stickers that count to 100 and the colorful background. Um, so we'll see what it ends up being used for. I don't think I would, this is days until winter vacation. Like I would not count down 100 days from winter vacation. Oh, this could actually be good for like an incentive chart for homework. My principal did mention homework is not like mandatory in my school, which I actually really like. So it's kind of like you can assign it, but kids can't get in trouble if they don't complete their homework, which I am totally here for. I love that. But my principal did recommend to, you know, have some type of incentive for kids who do do their homework. Um, so Maybe this could have something to do with that. I'm not really sure, but I will figure that out. 
Okay, last but not least, I was just using this to prop up my camera, so I had to switch out items. But I just got this in the mail today from my Amazon Classroom wishlist. My godmother gave me a gift card, so I purchased this from Learning Resources. I am so excited about this. It comes with a bunch of fake money but it looks realistic and that's what I wanted because for my classroom economy I wanted real looking money. I talked about this in my um, last quarantine vlog but basically I originally made class cash which is totally fine but then I saw something on Teachers Pay Teachers where someone commented and said she uses real money in the classroom to give a more authentic experience with like making change and like buying things in the classroom. So I really liked that and then I ended up buying like an economy classroom kit on Teachers Pay Teachers during a sale for like four bucks where it comes with... Um, job applications, a checkbook for each student, different reward coupons, and all that fun stuff. I'm actually really happy it comes in a yellow container because that is like my classroom theme that I'm going for. I'm thinking of doing mostly neutrals with pops of like yellow and maybe some other pops of color too, um, but I'm really into yellow lately. For example, this is the $50 bill. This is what it looks like. It's obviously not an exact duplicate, but it is pretty realistic. And that's something I was looking for. I'm so excited about this and I'm hoping it works well as my classroom economy. This is going to be a big part of my behavior management. So I'm looking forward to implementing that and I've already made a bunch of rewards. So that was everything in my math bin. Um, I will be making more videos, like I said, with different categories. So this was my math one. I will be filming those very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned for that. As always, all my links are linked down below in the link tree link. So that has my Teachers Pay Teachers store, my teaching Instagram, my Amazon classroom wish list. So you can check out anything related to me in that one link down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.